Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge version 123 is busy rolling out. And Microsoft pushed this out late on Friday in my region on the 22nd of March. So if you have been using your Edge browser over the course of this weekend, this last weekend, I'm sure by now you would have received this update. But nonetheless, just to keep you posted and in the loop, to double check you have the update, we head to our main menu, Help and Feedback, about Microsoft Edge, and the latest version in bold after the update has been applied is version 123.0.2420.53. Now, Edge version 123 at its heart and core is really a security update. We are not getting any major front facing or new features, and the new features are mainly aimed and targeted at, at IT admins in corporations and enterprises. But nonetheless, just to keep you guys posted, first of all, we get various bugs and performance issues that have been addressed with version 123 so this is also a maintenance update to address any problems you may have been experiencing in edge and then we get security updates now first of all we get two edge specific security updates that have rolled out and that's for the actual edge browser itself and then over and above the two edge specific updates we get 12 security fixes that have rolled out for the chromium platform which the browser is based on. And although there are no zero days or exploits in the wild, we do get one high risk security issue that's been addressed, which is object lifecycle issue in V8. That's the V8 JavaScript engine. And then over and above that, we get a couple of mediums and a couple of lows. So nonetheless, 12 security fixes rolling out for the Chromium open source project. And then we get two security updates rolling out for Microsoft Edge itself. Now with that all out of the way, the new features that have rolled out, as mentioned, are mainly for organizations. So I'm just going to mention these if you are affected because obviously just to keep you posted as to what is new. First of all, admins can now customize their organization's branding assets onto Edge for Business through the Microsoft Edge Management Service. Microsoft says this branding can help users sign in with an Entra ID more easily differentiate between multiple profiles and browser windows through visual cues on the profile pull Profile Flyout and Edge for Business Taskbar icon. So basically what this does, it gives admins an enhanced experience to configure, preview, and customize how Edge for Business shows the following organization brand assets, organization name, accent color, organization logo, and Edge for Business Taskbar icon overlay. So that's the first of two new features. And then the second new feature is also for Microsoft Edge for Business, where the Microsoft Edge Management Service will provide admins with the ability to configure settings for automatic profile switching in the Microsoft Edge browser. So those are the two new features officially listed in the release notes that have rolled out. And then we get a whole list of new policies that have also rolled out, which are under the under the hood improvements and changes, so to speak. So that's more or less officially what's new. Now, I'm just going to bring your attention to something else that is unofficially new. And I actually posted on this um, four days ago. So that was late last week, where installing Edge Beta on Windows will automatically install Microsoft Copilots. Now, when I posted that video, Edge version 123, which is now the latest release, was in beta. So obviously now with 123 rolling out to stable. If we now head over to our apps and features list, it's installing a small little Microsoft Copilot app, which we can see on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If we scroll down, here we go, Microsoft Copilot. And here we can see Microsoft Edge updated on the 25th of March and Microsoft Copilot the same day. So this is doing exactly now what uh, Microsoft Edge Beta did now that it's in the stable channel. Now, what I think is happening here, now this is not official, but what I do think is happening here is as I posted also late last week, Microsoft Copilot is now rolling out to more Windows 11 and Windows 10 devices. And um, this current rollout phase, as, as I mentioned in that video, will reach most Windows 11 and 10 devices by the end of May this year, 2024. Now, both those previous videos I've mentioned will be in the end screen if you want more info. So what I think is happening here is this latest release, Edge version 123, is starting to prepare Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices who have not received Copilot yet to get Copilot. Because it's a, um, I don't think it's a coincidence that version 123 has now pushed out this little 
Copilot app, which by the way is only eight kilobytes in size, so it's minute. So at this stage, it's a placeholder. It does nothing, but I'm sure that this is Microsoft now preparing Windows 10 and Windows 11, those devices that have not received Copilot now for that rollout, which will end as of May this year, 2024. So that's just my take on it. But just bringing that to your attention. So if you haven't got Copilot yet installed on your system, um, there may be a good chance now because Edge 123 is rolling out that little app that you should see it sooner than later because at its foundation, Copilot for the Windows 11 and 10's desktop is really just a Bing chat or Copilot web container, which is exactly what we find in the Microsoft Edge web browser itself. So it's no surprise, obviously, with this update now, as mentioned previously, that that little app, um, which is basically a placeholder at this stage, is rolling out and being installed on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So that's more or less, guys, what's new in our latest release of Microsoft Edge version 123, which started rolling out on the 22nd of March, 2024. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.